Hello and welcome to the new data analytics case study video where I am presenting you a new data set which is a bank wages data set and this data set has these very few columns like a job column, education column, gender column and minority column. And based on these uh, columns what I have created is questions related to um, data data cleaning data import exploration um, visualization some statistics and um, and some machine learning question the whole idea is that uh, i give you an overview of this uh, this case study the questions the reason behind it so that you can basically understand if let's say you are giving any pra any interview or uh, similar type of an exam then you can do the practice by uh, you know applying your skills onto this case study also this case study is something you can solve in you know, the the tool of your choice that means whether you want to use tableau power bi python r or whatever you know it should be able to uh, you should be able to solve it most of the question and some questions are tricky because i know i have solved it like for example testing the hypothesis for some the complex scenarios that I'm producing. So that is why, you know, I, I'm saying that most of those you will be able to solve it. And that's what I encourage you to look into the data issue, the questions related to data analysis and give the answers. Also, if you are attempting any type of a certification, these analysis question comes obviously more complex than this. But the whole idea is this, that if you are a beginner, then you should be able to solve all of these questions so if you are not sure how to sh how to solve these uh, questions then very recently i published one previous case study where i have solved it into excel tableau and uh, power bi and my plan is that i also solve it in the python as well as in r and the link for previous case study as well as their solution is present below to give you some idea if you are stuck solving the case study over here right also where you can find this file one of the very repetitive question so that's why i have started showing where you can actually go in and find it for example over here my drive data set and the case study column usually i give the link of data sets folder right when you uh, within the description in that you will find the case study folder this is the case study bank wages with question and previously you can see that i have put the case study for amazon prime title diabetes heart wine quality and a fair data set this is the previous very recent previous one which i published you can see on september 5 uh, even though maybe after a couple of days i may have published it so with that information where you can find the data set let's come back so first of all you know let's start with a question based on the tool that you are using for example python you need to know how you can um, import and open this data into your system right or if you are using tableau or power bi then you know find the command or functionality which can tell you how many rows or columns are present so like for example you have five columns all in all if you see right one is unnamed so that's another thing but all in all you have five different columns but how many rows you have well the rows is something you have uh, 474 right so that should be the output what is the data type of each column like text um, integer again uh, this is text this is text but when you are in python doing with some data analysis usually you convert this into category so that you can perform a better analysis um, what is the data type is something and if there is a mismatch for example if this is represented as text in case the system is not able to identify it then you need to convert it into the integer you should know how to do that because that's a very basic and common requirement when you are working with these type of data after that you need to remove the first column which is unnamed again in python you need to write the code but in power bi tableau or these uh, drag and drop tools have very easy interface through which you can just you know come over here like this in excel you can right click and delete over there you have the option if not the right click 
but in python or r you need to write a command right is there any missing value in the data set very important because this can impact your output when you are counting the value or you are running any algorithm it will run into an error so always important that you check in any of the column you have the missing values if the missing value is present then a treatment is required but for this case study if you if there is no missing column if that's what you are getting the output then we are good if you are getting a missing column just remove it for now so that you know we keep it more and more big, beginner friendly and then question number six so the color is changing because now it will be more around uh, data exploration than interaction related question things like those so that's why this is more around the treatment around the data now uh, how many jobs are present in the data set create a count table percentage and visualize so you have these different job types admin custodial and manage so that will give you the answer the table and percentage that should help you understand the distribution of job type within the data set how it will be helpful in analysis let's say if you are running any algorithm and there is a heavy influence of admin job the uh, prediction will be more and more for the admin job because admin values are more present so algorithm will be biased to that i mean that's some background i am trying to provide uh, as to why we do it when we do it i mean look at the data science related problem what is the common most common job in the data set again what you need to do is uh, however uh, you can find it from here but it's an alternative way of asking the same question basically based on the count you can say what is the most common job in the data set then is the overall common job differ by female and male so we are then further going down into this by looking at it from another variable gender and finding it whether male and female has a different distribution for jobs then we have uh, do male uh, more involved in admin job than women again it's you know these questions like a decision type of a question where we have this one category but for one particular value of another co another uh, uh, column or another variable so this should help us the penetration of one column into the value of another column so that should be able to give you whether admin uh, females are more involved into admin job or males are more involved usually in which job minorities are more involved again it's a same perspective right like this one or even this one to basically understand the distribution of variable like minority into the job right does low number that means less than 15 years of education year impact job type of or lay or in later years so technically what i really want you to do is you create one more variable and uh, find and based on less than 15 and greater than 15 and then you know visualize this output that does low number of education years impact job type or later years that will be easy to interpret right so job type is present over here does low or high number of education years again same question have more impact on female or male job type so we are again going further down by looking at it from a gender perspective that whether in case of males and females if we look at the education years then job type is different or not right it's like a bias finding the bias into the data then we have this question <clears throat> um, question number 13 little bit more um higher side is there any relation so now the relationship is coming into it bit of a statistics questions or statistics uh, sort of uh, uh, influence into it is there any relation between job type and education years so job type and education years you need to find the right visualization which can help you understand the relation between it um, then how many education year values are present in the data set so again the unique value of education here create a cross tab with minority and show the count and percentage so first of all first question is how many values are present so unique value you can find it then make a cross tab and count it 
right for minority and then you need to not just count it but show the percentage as well so making it slightly more complex right does having high higher education years does having higher education years that means greater than 15 impact job type right so this basically is another way of asking this question however i would really like you look at both of these and interpret your output as to what output you are getting and how you are inter uh, interpreting it in my solution when i create it i will let you know what is the distribution of education year again you need to find the right visualization that can help you look at the distribution of education year in our data set so generally this is how you they ask the question and they expect if you are a data analytics professional, data science professional and all, you, this should be very very basic question for you. So after that the next question is do female have more managed job or male? So again very simple with this and this column you can create a visualization or a metric that will help you uh, interpret that right. So you need to know what measure to choose right because you have count you have percentage and that is where the interpretation of the result comes uh, when we are producing the output. After that the question is what is the probability of male having a managed job? Again a probability is I am introducing in this so that you can brush up your probability skills. So male having a managed job what is the probability? What is the probability of male with minority having an admin job? Right. And uh, that's where, you know, we go a little bit more in depth into the data with two, two variables and it's sort of a conditional probability. The condition is that male is in the minority, but then the probability is that whether the minority male is having a admin job, right? So what is the probability in that? So these types of questions basically look again much more deeper into the data from the perspective of like whether there is any bias or preferential treatment and things like those and probability really help from a data perspective discovering that. After that do probability of female with minority have more probability of managed job than female with no minority. So you need to figure that out how would you do that. Test the hypothesis 15 plus years of education men have more managed jobs. So hypothesis is that 15 this will become your null hypothesis that 15 years plus education men or male have more managed job. So this is where more is coming into the um, scenario. Also this is all categorical data so you need to figure it out how would you do that. After that. Another hypothesis is that male having minority get more admin job. So this is where you know they they give uh, again from a bias perspective uh, someone can say oh in this department you know males are give males who are minority they don't get many job they only get the uh, admin job. So if you have to prove them wrong you need to have the hypothesis testing which can help you take the decision that is data driven right. So after that um, another trick question is if five males are randomly selected then what is the probability that they do not have many jobs. So if you select very randomly like this one, this one, this one and maybe this one right. So this is just an example from an example perspective I am saying if you are just closing your eyes and picking five males then what is the probability that they do not have managed job? Little bit interesting, figure it out, how would you do that? Divide, after that machine learning questions, divide the data set into 70-30, like 70% 70 training and, um, uh, sorry, training and testing is over here. First of all, divide the data set in target, which is job, and features data set, which is these three values, right? Decode the categorical variables for machine learning. Uh, because these values will not give you the right output so you need to do that decoding. Then create a train and test data set based on 70-30 ratio where 70% data is in the training and 30% is in testing. After that uh, apply the machine learning, the relevant machine learning algorithm you need to know if you are a data science professional or aspiring data science professional then you need to know 
what machine learning you need to apply uh, on this train data set and create the machine learning model after that evaluate okay I put it wrong evaluate the model on the test data the 30 percent test data and then provide your own input to the model that means what i'm saying is create an application based on a choice of your tool where you can provide these three input and it should be able to predict you the job right that should be like a data science application or data product that you are creating let's say for a department which can where you are trying them uh, like if this is the education year this is the person minority yes or no what is the relevant job type we have in our department i mean just a hypothetical if that's what the situation is whole idea is how you would develop a data product if you have to based on the machine learning model so these are the 30 questions which is based on this data bank wages and uh, i hope you will enjoy doing this exercise and find the answers that will help you improve your data analysis skills with that thank you so much for watching and i'll meet you in the solution videos of this in my future videos also with much more case studies like this